Um, hello, welcome. This is Drew Stories Podcast, episode 15. Uh, I'm Drew Brooks. I am from Leroy. Yes, you are, dude. I think and I, um, I know. Well, today, anyway. Uh, you could legally change your name to anything. Do you know that? Yeah. You know what I changed like it to? For like 50 bucks. Probably more than that now. Probably. You know what I changed it to? What would you change your name to if you could? Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of people like to call me Alfredo instead of Adolfo. So <laughs> no. just do People <laughs> used to do that at work. That's really comedy. Okay. Awesome. Mm. I really haven't given it much thought, but I probably would go sideways like... Um, Grimes' kid, right? Or Elon Musk's kid. It's <laughs> yeah. like a number or some Z- shit. Zeta Delta Belta. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you're new to the program, thank you so much for joining us at this point. Uh, welcome. And uh, do what you can because these are real times, right? It is. Uh, we are in real time right now. We are in real in time. In the fourth dimension. But we're also excited about it. I got, I got to tell you, man. Colombian roast. Yep. I'm a consistent. You know what it is? Love probably cocaine, everybody. <laughs> probably Pablo Escobar. I do everything Escobar style, including my JoJo, my hot Joe. Yep, and that was reference to the 2000s <laughs> greatest hit singer JoJo. You know what? I vibed on her a little yeah. bit. I think she's a real sport. She she has um, a great sort of aura, I guess. You know, still to this day, I'm sure. Yeah. Have you looked her up? Is she like forty? I think she's she's up there. Let's let's give her a quick little. Yeah, let's give her a little googs, right? But anyway, um, I'll tell you what's happening with me, man. Um, and for all you kids at home, thirty. That's not bad at all. No, I thought she was a lot older. Damn. So yikes, bro. Easy. Come on, let's be <laughs> friends. To Judge, it looks cool. She had her hair did for that one. Yeah, she's going for that like auburn oh. and sort of look where it's like you know half of it's one color, the other half's. And I like the serious face. I'm a big fan of just rest of face. Yeah, bitch. Not face. a lot of like ear to ear grins that scare everyone. Bang right there, right there. That one. Bang o. Oh. Bang o. Oh, bingo bongo. Whoa. What she you, looks fantastic. What Good do you for guys you, think of Jojo. Keep it up. She's great. Whatever your routine is, keep it up. Yeah. Um, and that goes for everyone right now. It's hard. It's hard for me, especially to find uh, structure and not to just absorb myself. You know, I had a really nice day where I didn't watch TV. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Just like when you forget <sighs> your phone, right? No. Nah, yeah, I don't do that. I'll have like a fucking... I'll have a stroke if I forget my phone now. So that's impossible. Hey. Hey, could you imagine if you had accidentally forgotten your phone yesterday on your bike ride? Dude, I'll tell you the truth. I had a little bit of a panic, obviously, in public. Uh, I took a bike ride. By the way, 30 miles. I'm not going to brag. I'll let somebody else do that. He's going 30 miles an hour. <laughs> Wouldn't that be shit? <laughs> shit. I can't pedal 30 miles an hour. I don't even know if I can reach the 10 mark. <laughs> uh, uh, but I'm pedaling my ass off, and it feels fucking tremendous just getting out there. And Also, you can bob and weave the zombies. It's Ooh. fucking... I don't know if you guys know the, the old Southern timers? California area. And the old timers... <laughs> But um, but you can. You can bob and weave through it. It's pretty cool. When you're jogging, it's really scary when a bike whizzes by you. Yeah. And you got the fucking torpedo helmet guy with the highlighter. Oof. Or when you're so. speed walking, right? Or you could be speed walking. Yeah, because that's a competitive sport. No. Is it? It is. Okay. Yeah. I well, think, good. Yeah. So should everything. Don't then. undermine if hot dog, walkers. If hot dog eating can be competitive, then yeah. s- why not? Yeah, come on. What is your favorite non-sport related competitive acti- activity like like darts or some shit? Do you ever look at those dart players? <laughs> okay. Ooh, Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got one. Uh archery. Arch Ooh, that's yeah. a good one. They don't even put that. Do you remember um Archery's really difficult, man. I, I just bet. thought about that. But um yeah, so anyway, I I was at the I was at this bar and uh I was just thinking about whether or not I remember to pick up my credit card from another bar. Oh. You see what I'm saying? So you this left is two bars. This Ooh. is two bars, by the way, I have gone to in six months. Ooh. All the same in the course of 30 minutes. Damn. Bar um, hopping. I got to tell you, Hermosa ain't watching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but anyway, I, I go 
I go to my wallet to be like, huh, where's my credit card? And then I realize it's gone. Here's oh. here. No, no, you're going to like this because I was fucking hitting a weed pen. You're going to enjoy this. Okay. So I go, I panic and I go, fuck, I'm going to have to walk around the corner to this other place and ask them if they have my card. And if they don't, it fell on the ground. There's a whole thing. I'm going through all the emotions, rainbow of emotions, brother. Mm hmm. Flustered, flurried. I got guys asking me stupid questions about like, what are you watching right now? And I'm just like, oh my God, where's my credit card? I turn, the lady at the bar goes, because you have to order and then you don't touch in it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they you just, just go up and you're like, hello, uh, take my yeah. thing, insert it like that. Um, and she goes, hey, um, did you want blah, 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 or something like that? Some extra, oh, limes or something like that. She's like, you want extra limes or something? And I was like, huh, hey. And I, she was looking, she's, I was like, yeah, and then I was like, fuck, I'll give her another credit card. Because I'm like, I'll give her a credit card. Here, go run over there. She was expecting a credit card. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, huh. And she's goes, and then she goes, no, dude, you already gave me a credit card. I oh. have it. Your name's Andrew, right? And I was like, first of all, you don't know me. <laughs> second of all, <laughs> second of all, but I liked it. It was very personable. I haven't been, like, I haven't had this interaction, you know, Damn. in quite some time. So it was very, it felt awkward. It felt like a rom-com. felt like you were getting aggressive there for a second. No, not aggressive. I was just <laughs> getting panicking, you know. But anyway, okay. long story short, she had it already. So that was nice. the, like, yeah, that's the big story. You Dude, psyched yourself out and you thought you left it at another bar? Right for before. the 10 millionth time. Yeah. I psyched myself out. But it was really uh, an interesting uh, adventure yesterday, I'll tell you that, to say the least. I don't know about riding in the dark. I don't know about doing doing that anymore. Yeah. That was that seemed like a young man's game. Well, I think you just got to have a fucking light for your bike next time. That's probably a big difference maker. Alfredo, you're goddamn right about that. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So, Damn right, how are Andrew. you doing? Are you? Are, oh, so hey, can I ask you something? Is just sort of a follow up from the last uh, time we talked about kind of this. Yes. You were working on your fitness. I know that for a fact. Um, I was very loosely, very loosey goosey. You were, you were, let's say, flirting with martial mixed martial arts. A flirting with the idea. Kickboxing. Yes. yes. You know, I was having sex with shadow boxing. <laughs> that's what you meant. Okay, but were you? Uh, so you were using YouTube too to be like one, two, kick. No, it was really oh. just more of an interpretive sort of, <laughs> <laughs> sort of thing going on. So, okay, At, meaning what? In your backyard, just like kind of minding your own business? In, in my girlfriend's old apartment <laughs> where I, I where I was shadow boxing and I broke the bathroom mirror. Oh man! And then yeah. had to had to. I remember now. Yeah. Hey, and how does how was the replacement process of oh. that mirror you broke? Oh, it was while, while you were working out, by the way, she can't feel too bad about it. Yeah, exactly. You was know, she upset with you? Well, because it, it, it happened like right after um, I dropped her off at the airport. So, oh. so, well, no, I saw your, I saw your ass first, <laughs> but later right. that night, <laughs> later that night, I started a shadow box at her place mm -hmm. and then damn, you know, one thing led to another and I just caught myself, I caught myself slipping and then uh, I punched, I got, I got myself bah, right in the face. Were you wearing the gloves? No, it was just bare knuckle, dude. Just shadow boxing in front of the mirror. Yeah. Naked? No, no. Oh, okay. Naked, that's some naked. like, that's some Martin Sheen shit in just, Apocalypse <laughs> Now, you know what I mean? No, just half naked. <laughs> um... That you got to watch, by the way. We got to watch that together. Have you seen it's, Platoon? I have, and I love it. Okay, I haven't. Tom Berenger, man. Lo so underrated. Is Charlie Sheen in that? He better believe he's in that. <laughs> oh, shit. He's so young faced. Out. <laughs> probably. There's probably a couple of days where it was still in a stream, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Bloodstream. <laughs> but it's like, and then there's this documentary about Platoon. Don't watch that. But watch the movie. The movie's very, very good, and Oliver Stone. Why don't you want to see the underbelly of the making of the movie um it's not that it's just kind of like it's been it's been quite some time and it's cool i just feel like okay you want to know you don't want to know why like give it to me it straight comes A's. from this and i'm just trying <laughs> give it to me straight A's. <laughs> don't mess around don't smoke cigarettes kids. um <laughs> yeah don't um but what i was saying is um i don't particularly like all of these reunions I feel like we're living in a very reunion-y situation. There's mm -hmm. like the cast, the Goodfellas has to get together. And Ray Liotta has to like hold it together for an hour in front of fucking, you know, Morley Schaefer or some fucking weirdo like Katie Kirk. Or Kirk. Katie's cool though. Yeah, Katie. Do you remember when Lil Wayne was interviewed by Katie Kirk? And, she, and he was always like, Miss Katie. I know. I'm yeah, sorry, Miss Katie. Well, you know Miss Katie. And I was just like, that's the coolest way of addressing Katie Couric ever. And if I ever get the opportunity to meet her, I'm going to call her Miss Katie. Yeah. 
That sounds so cool. What if I got the opportunity to meet Katie Holmes? Ooh, Ooh. what would you would you be like? Would you say hello, Miss Katie? <laughs> I would just say that very soon. Anyway, but uh, shout out to Lil Wayne. Jesus, shout he looks Wayne. awesome. He just keeps getting more and more awesome looking. He looks like he's slowly becoming Lee Perry. Wait, 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 wait. You said you said Lil Wayne mm-hmm. was. I thought you said Lilo. No, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne. I thought you Wayne. said, I thought you meant Lindsay Lohan, no, Lilo. No, we're going to have to go back to the, t- oh, speaking of, what is, like, what? Did, where is she? What happened to her? I mean, I'm going to She look. deserves her own Netflix doco. I'll do a quick little. I feel like if we're going to go through, br- tear through Britney's private life, we might as well tear through uh, Lindsay Lohan's, like, exploits. I just want to see her, honestly, I just want to read her, uh, record yeah i mean she seems <laughs> like she's fucking jail time record she God looks like she's cool she looks like she's chilling been up to some stuff mm-hmm. you know throwback thursday photo oh is that like the mean girls that's a mean girls know, photo, man. i think i mean what did you think of uh, of i feel like it might have hit you right on the spot because when i was in my i think well, i was probably in college maybe when she was popping off the freaky friday thing yeah I could be wrong. Who knows, man? I, yeah. I haven't getting much sleep. But Whatever. yeah, man. What do you do? What do you do when you can't get much sleep, huh? Do you smoke weed or do you jerk off or do you do both? No, I don't do either actually. Um now I do like I give up. Or do you do push ups? Sometimes that helps. No, now I just tend to give up and do a task or something. Oh. Because I can now then I'll get my my, I'll realize like halfway through the task that I'm tired again, mm-hmm. and I'll be like, "What am I doing?" Yeah. So that's where I'm at with it. No, man, I'm no. Um, Take you know, a shower that helps too. Showers or warm shower or whatever. Speaking of which, like, am I the? Am I? Is this just me? I'm taking insanely long showers. I think we talked about that at a yeah. point recently, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not good, man. Take, anyway, yeah. um, so you got the mirror replaced for your ladies. Home. I did. I did. That was a that was an incident. Yeah, but you were talking about how oh, yeah, 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 I sorry. was I was a fighter or something. You were you were trying to say how my interest oh. in being a fighter something that interested you and that you wanted to be a fighter as well. No, Is that what you were saying? that's not what I was oh, saying. Okay. I do not want to get together and do fighting techniques or oh, anything. Man. I'm sorry, bro. That should be part of the podcast. Everybody. That should be like like and tell us if you want me and Drew to go take, go do karate Mondays go, or some shit. <laughs> yeah, go take a uh, beginner's course for. Brazilian Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. All right. Oh man, why do you got to dude? Do you here's hear me out for a second? Do you want to see us do that, guys? Please. Yeah. Uh, Let us know. The only problem with that is that the COVID. Uh, no, I'm just I'm self preservation. Jocks I'm not looking for like that one quick tweak that takes me out the game, like you know, for like s- the season. No, you want that Colombian rose. I want that. Col- <laughs> yes, I do, bro. <laughs> but <laughs> the Pablo. Colombian rose, bro. Pablo you know, Naruto. Here. My energy tablets. But, no, um, I enjoy when exercise doesn't seem daunting, and that's kind of like what the bike's about, you feel me? Yeah. It doesn't, you can get your mind off stuff. You can also pop in the buds, but I feel like it's like easy does it, because you don't want to ram into people or something. Have something ram into you. Yo, would you, were you rocking the AirPods? No, because I had You're scared those were going to fall out. Right? I was rolling in, I was rolling deep, so I, it wasn't <laughs> like... It wasn't like uh, I needed uh, to be distracted or anything like that. I've, and, you know, cruising with a little music is pretty good. Speaking of which, that's what I was going to say. So when I was, wasn't was watching TV, um, that's annoying. I gotta stop that. But uh, I was watching, or I didn't watch TV, and I kicked on tunes, and I just, like, kind of vibed, man. It was pretty good. Well, what was playing? Uh, I started out Zeppelin? with, like, s- funk soul like no soul jazz soul okay. jazz so like, i think it was like it started in a very herbie hancock sort of way okay it was just like twiddly twiddly and then nothing with vocals you oh. know what i'm saying huh. and i'm deeply into like uh spanish guitar music right okay now. real like you know do you like, like a, back in the day shit do you like, like, like bossa nova music and shit bossa you know? nova's fresh you know? obviously i'm a fan but uh right now i just love that that sort of there's like uh, it's om- it's early ranchero music, not later ranchero. You feel me? Hey, tell me the most fucked up you ever got at a music festival or concert. Here's the thing. I my friend just told me a story. And I hope he comes on this podcast and tells it because it's it involves a press photo. Oh, and the press photo is 
I can't even reveal any of it because it's such a great story. So oh. hopefully Jason will come on here. All right, Jason, that. please come on. I got to hear um, this. <laughs> it's outstanding. Um, you know what, dude? I've, I think I was pretty zooted on mushrooms a few times. I mean, I have to say hands down, um, don't go to, I, I went to a Dodger game on mushrooms and I didn't really, it took me a while to get adjusted, if you can understand what I'm saying. Because Damn. it's like getting in a giant crowd at that point probably isn't the best thing. What's crazy is that there's such a vibe about it too. So then like, I feel that being on mushrooms that is a vibe in itself. It's like, whoa, what's all this vibe with this vibe doing? And we're just, it's over vibe. It's over vibing, <laughs> man. Too much vibes. They, they said it couldn't That's be done. They said it couldn't be done, but we said, look at us. They said I couldn't swing over the swing set. Um, and then I did. And then you did. And I never came back. But what, I mean, yeah. Wow. You brought up JoJo and Lindsay Lohan in the same conversation. Well, you you are doing damage. You sir. brought Lilo up. Okay, I did not. I said yeah. Little Wayne. Not or sorry, Lil. It's, it's not what we heard. Anyway, uh, please forgive me if I've mispronounced anybody or anyone. Um, but I will ask you this: mm. Were you like at that perfect point for to see the sort of rise and fall of Lindsay Lohan? Uh, Did you watch her movies? Is it better? Because you always be talking about Vanessa Hudgens. I was wondering if yeah. you fuck with the Lindsay Lohan, early Lindsay Lohan. Uh, you know what? Her be the love bug type shit. I mean, she didn't have that many movies. I feel you know. I she, feel like she, she had, had a nice Disney stretch, and then did. it was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to show up at 3 a.m. Right. Okay. So she's got <laughs> she's got confes confessions of a teenage drama queen. She's got. I haven't seen it. Mean, mean Girls, Girls is a hot one. Mean Girls is the Mean Girls is her movie. That is it's a classic. What put her, that's right? what put her on the map, dude. It's what put her on the map as a as a as a, as a little Faye. bit older. Yeah, props to all of them, yeah, all she, the people she that she made that bitch. Well, it was well put together, and I think I think because anything that sort of uh, I don't know, I think just like the movies, kind of like. Uh, John Hughes movies and things of that nature. If it feels like there's something genuine in there mm -hmm. about like, you know, growing up, whether it's super bad or anything like that, and it's like real, it's pretty yeah. cool. Um, I don't. Know, I think they refer to them as coming of age movies. Yeah, is that right? I think so. I don't think she ever had that movie though. I don't think she <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to think that you are not a big Lindsay Lohan fan. I think we just discovered that. <laughs> today everybody all right well moving right along i won't bring it up again uh alfredo <laughs> that's brutal bro i know it is it's it's as brutal as like i don't know i don't get it because they like look at the name and they're just like oh that, i didn't know that for like the first few months that i met my girlfriend as just like friends she called me aldolfo <laughs> She thought that was my name and i never corrected her so i was like because you were like you're cute yeah i'm like oh it's kind of cute how you say it that's really funny yeah, it's true. When you're cute, you can pretty much call me anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just keep just keep talking to me, please. Um, just keep on talking. Yep. You can call me <laughs> Alfredo. Call me anytime. Shit. Call me anytime. Um, it was really interesting seeing people outside. Yeah. That was crazy. I'll tell you that right now. And I'm going. That's going for anybody living in this particular region of the United States of America. Uh, it's pretty shocking to see that sort of like oh, there's a glimmer of. Openness in the open air, which is both refreshing and terrifying. At the yeah, same time. <laughs> you can see the COVID in the air. <laughs> you can see them spraying the COVID all around. It's like Phil Collins comes out. Something <laughs> in the air tonight. That's not how it goes. <laughs> to <new. laughs> That's not how that one goes. Yeah, I got boy. some feelings. I think in the my Colombian grounds tonight. got to you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They probably did. Now. Have you had a chance to catch up on your delightful Bachelor? Yeah, it's so funny. Which I'm beginning to think you don't like Bachelor either. What do you mean? I do. <laughs> it's so funny you say that though. That I actually just watched it this morning. I caught up oh, with good. this. I caught up with this week's fucking. It's this week eight, uh, nine, this twelve, seven week set. Wait, no, no. I, I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> let me let me check. Let me look at it real wow. quick. I'm glad you watched it this morning. I did, I did. Hey, man, but I don't keep up with. Um, is he is he semantics. permanently? Is he banned from the set? Is Chris is Chris Harrison permanently banned from the set? I don't know, dude. To be honest, it's episode eight. I don't want to cause any rumors. Oh, tomorrow's episode eight. So yeah, it was episode seven that I watched. Yeah, seven. Sorry. Damn, why are you making me feel? See, I see. I, that's why I got to stop down on myself, everybody. All right, I'm real insecure, and right. I can't let. 
people <laughs> second guessing me make me second guess myself. Okay. Okay. You, hey man, you're right. Standing up for yourself is important. Now tell me what the hell went down. Okay, so it was actually Christ. pretty fucking nuts, dude. So obviously we know our homie Victoria. She, mm-hmm. the queen's gone. Queen Vic. Queen Vic. And the Queen Vic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, she's out. A number, we knew that. A number of girls left. That girl, uh, do you remember that blonde girl? She's Is Rachel still in the mix? I think that's what we're all wondering. Bro, she was. She's rumored to be the uh, winner. The breadwinner right there. Okay, yeah, so the Rachel's, Rachel's still in the mix. She's pretty, I mean, that's it, guys. If you follow, here's what's interesting. If you followed the cast, the podcast so far, yeah, you've realized that we've come to a point where you predict pretty well. Like you are, you you become obviously the Oscar predictions. Those were that was a travesty. But well, not all of them. Not all of them, some but like them. the things you were aware of, it was pretty interesting how you 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 got some of it, and Clear that voice. is enough in this day and age. Uh, to make a TV for a show week out of, it. of the twenty. <laughs> For we for the week of the Ooh, uh, Jesus, we are struggling here. Yeah, guys. what day is it? What weekday is it? The twenty second, bro, February. Yay! Podcast world, eat your heart out. Um, yeah, I know they're just jealous. Uh, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they're your mama jealous don't of like us. Me. Yeah, I know we're the bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the two more like bad girls. <laughs> yeah, we're it's more like bad girls. Yeah. I feel like we're more like bad girls, not mean girls. Bad girls club. Did, did bad you girls watch club. That shit? No, I think we just made another podcast. Oh. <laughs> the bad girls club. Right. Um, that'd be cool, actually. Yeah. Um, the boys are nice. Town. You've uh, <laughs> that's the under. That's the yeah, subtitle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the edition of the bad girls <laughs> the club. Bad girls club. The, the boys, boys are in town. town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that's perfect. Yeah. Um. What else, man? I, oh, you know. Oh, so we're talking about Bachelor. You're saying Chris is still in the mix. Um, so I'll tell you the ones that are left. All right. Okay. So um, Rachel is still left. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus this, Christ! This girl man. named Bree. Um, this girl named Michelle. Okay. Um, who was the other one? Who do you think? If it wouldn't be, you know, the rumor, obviously, very interesting, and we've already established that we predicted it very early on, and we're right. geniuses. That goes without saying. Right. But who would be your runner-up? N- meaning, like, what if there's a stunning upset um, on The Bachelor, and she's just like, more racism, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, hell breaks loose. Yo. She gets canned. Yeah, so um, and then, I, think, um, I, think, I think she might take it. This uh, The girl, Brie... Oh I think she might gosh, take it. Brie if, seems really refreshing. If it wasn't for this, oh, she looks girl, like she's gonna Rachel. Done them. And so then there's Serena P. I think Serena. But the thing with, with Serena P. is that what's up with Serena, Serena P. P. isn't really into him. Oh, and you can tell this him? far though, because they so Me they went on a date this episode, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and they go. I wonder do, what that's like. They do that uh, fucking yoga shit where it's like a two the tandem the tantaratic or some bullshit yoga when it's like the two people oh yeah tantric tantric yoga. yeah 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 they were doing that Why shit you touch me when you said that because you were being a fucking <laughs> you're being a fucking oh bad girl is what yeah, i'm being yeah. bad girl all right all right enough. okay <laughs> <laughs> all right but they're doing that shit and <laughs> she apparently was very uncomfortable doing it wow yeah and so like was it I, jumping out of a plane though because that's how the clip of them jumping out of a plane and i would probably that's be. next week A.K. Oh, tomorrow. Sh- so, guys, you, AK, you mean tonight. Today, it's tonight. tonight for y'all. <laughs> tonight. We'll get it together, guys. Don't worry. February 22nd. Very exciting. It's a Monday. Boom. Batch is coming up, and they're going to be jumping out of planes. God. That's a moment where there is no room for bullshit. Jumping out of a plane, even though we've pretty much established that any asshole can jump out of a yeah, plane now because they're strapped to other people. Um, that are professionals. Thank God that we have professionals bag. of anything anymore. And <laughs> he's probably a douchebag. He's no. probably like that thrill seeker douchebag type. Well, every douchebag think- is probably now had an excuse to say that I jumped out of an airplane. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah everybody's like, I Confirm. did it. Finally, bucket list. All right, Whoa. dude. I'm tough. All right. Never mind. I mean, there could be some skydivers listening. <laughs> you gotta be cool. Bro. Oh no 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 no! I meant I meant I meant the skydivers are cool. The real skyd- skydivers. I'm talking the about real the real ones. The guys that are doing it for the one time purpose of saying that I skydived. Bro, I just thought about this though. But just, I this kind of connected with me. What? It's like I've just been thinking about people with like jobs, right? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> just as a, I don't know, fun new thought. I, uh, and I thought about this just now about how an instructor and a, a, a guy would have to be like every, pretty much every other day or every day or five days a week, maybe. I don't know how the schedule of a skydiver instructor guy mm-hmm. works. Yeah, me neither. But you get this like quick breakdown training and then you jump on this guy's back or, or on his chest maybe. I think you're on his chest like a baby in like fucking... He cradles you like a baby. I think so. I think he pulls your shit and Soothing. does all this stuff and you're just like this... Wah, wah. You look like you're in a baby Bjorn anyway. Ooh. All these guys that are like, I did it before I was 50 <laughs> or Fun. whatever. Anyway, those guys teaching and doing it every day. Don't you think there's a day you go into work and you're like... I just don't feel like jumping out of a plane today. Hey, <laughs> everybody you, has those days. There everybody has to makes be mistakes. that day for that guy. And I hope that day people are understanding. They push their appointments and they let that guy be. Yeah. Especially if he's really consistent. You'll imagine if he was just like, you know, man, I really don't feel like doing this shit like mid fucking drop. And he's like, I'm just going to kind of let these motherfuckers go right now. You know, I'm going to let well, them go. Well, you've just taken it into a realm of bizarre weirdness where people die again. Well, I'm super happy about that. Yep. No, I don't think bizarre that that's what he would do. World. I think he would just, um, I mean, if you put yourself in those shoes, there are days where I'd just probably be like, guys, I don't know if I want to be in a plane right now. That noise, the air noise in a plane bothers me so much. <laughs> And, like, I had a breakfast and it didn't feel like it settled properly. Ooh. And so that's going to be another issue, especially if somebody's on me all the time. And not really liking random people getting strapped to me as, like, my daily job. Hey, you know what you should do instead as the... So shout out to all yeah. those people because that's a real type of If it's full time now, if that's just, like, they call you in and it's, like, twice a month... Forget it. I even brought it up. Just go to Uber. Don't do the part time. Forget it, it, it over there. I we don't want to see part timers. Brought it up. But yeah, I mean, well, there was probably let's let's probably re- be real about about this. Like charter planes. This after this last eighteen months, I would imagine private pl- uh, private plane uh, pilots yeah. are like. Full time, not getting any rest. Like every day is a new day. We're going to Bali. We're going to Brazil. Where are we going, rich American? Yo, for real though. Yeah, I mean, I was about to it say, is a boom town for s- private planes right now. I was about it's to a say, fucking straight boom town. We need to go take a private plane from here to Vegas, oh, you dude. Want to? Yeah, okay. We gotta buddy. take a private plane to Vegas. I think that if you want to talk about field trips, especially if we want to bring, we want to usher the viewers into a real <laughs> in-depth experience, uh, uh, a real wild ride in, in 1920 by. 1080 um because that's the best we're gonna do right yeah. now but if if that might be a thing i just don't man i gotta tell you the travel i love right so the road trip is always exciting but boy fuck the road trip the we're thrill flying. of vegas with a lot of like um we're flying in the air for 45 minutes drinking champagne oh, right. popping yeah, the yeah. bubbly uh private plane private yeah, come you want on. to do the private plane. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Road trip. That's not that. That's okay. It's if not you take that a crazy. private Here's where Okay, let me let me express this though. Flying to Vegas on a private plane, not that expensive. Probably what like under 1000? Well under 1000. <laughs> Beautiful. N- n- and it, people that everybody knows that. I don't know why you don't. The <laughs> but but I'll tell you what, if you wanted to just be like cuz I was listening to that Bill Gates interview. Yeah. And that motherfucker has to offset his carbon footprint using almost 10 million dollars or something like that i don't know if that's a fact check it but he uses millions of dollars to uh, sort of get rid of how much waste he has in his life and the reason he does this is because he wakes up and goes oh i've got a 2 p.m appointment with the oracle dudes or whatever right and that's in bumfuck i don't know that's not in silicon valley that's in fucking san diego or whatever he wakes up and he makes a phone call. Probably not even a phone call. He asks somebody around him. Uh, one of the many, ah, Bill, what do you need? Yeah. And then he goes, 2 p.m., we're on the runway. Fucker's already filled up. And do you know what? what is the most gangster waste of, uh, car- uh, talk about carbon footprint? Tell me. Fuel. Airline fuel is well, very, very wastely. I would, I would say it's, uh, it's animal agriculture and the, and the poop and the methane produced by. Well, that goes to show how narrow-minded you are. Yes, I have very <laughs> much am. But because it was, it's really coal. It's probably coal and fucking yeah. fuel and things that burn a lot of problematic fucking things into the yep. air. But going back to that, that's so interesting that that I'm sure it's offset too in terms of the budget, the budget. Offset. I'm sure it, 
all set. Um, but I just hearing him talk about using a private plane is crazy. Yeah. When that's your just like, that's your daily, you know. The only time I've ever experienced um, that kind of, I've never experienced it actually. It's just that the sort of get up and go of it. It's very rare that somebody can have the access. And I'm not talking about like schedule an appointment with a a plane that everybody's using. I'm talking about your shit. My shit. Your shit. That's my Kleenex box. You see all these champagne glasses? They're mine. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, you're not, it's not a service, you feel? Okay. Uh, but also, I think it's really interesting uh, how that man is aging. Beautifully? Gorgeously. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's the money, man. He's. I'm telling you, it's like stem cells injecting well, into his... I don't know if it's stem cells. I think he's got a proper diet, but I saw him a little pudge out. No offense, Bill. He's a little vego, isn't he? Or vegetarian, I think. I believe he probably is. Pescatarian. Dude, I bet the fucking, like, you were talking about little tomatoes and shit. Yeah. I bet tomatoes he gets are crazy good. (laughs) Oh, dude. They're probably (laughs) so small. But check this out, man. He did grow up kind of cool looking because, like, he reminds me of, like, when in The Simpsons they they go to the future and, Mm -hmm. like, Bart's like a big loser living out of a trailer yeah. and shit. And I just laugh because I, I see the aging of like a little boy who was like, I'm a genius. So apparently uh, he does not claim to be a vegetarian, but is reported to still enjoy the occasional cheeseburger. But so I guess he is predominantly kind of more plant based. But yeah, man, but so am I. But I don't go around fucking yakking about it. You know what I mean? Well, he apparently he's a big uh, public financial supporter of plants of a uh, plant supporter based. of plant yeah. and cellular plant based alternative well in the 60 minutes joint i think that's what i'm referring to he had an hour-long 60 minutes thing and oh. in that bitch he talks about um a soy product mm-hmm. i think a soy product that's like it's like a very interesting new food technology he's working it's on just some like a new powder shit, shit or what no i don't remember soylent? Exactly. have you heard soylent What's yeah? I've heard of Soylent Green, son. I don't no. know if you've heard of it. It's mm-hmm. probably gonna be remade, starring fucking Billy Bullshit. Um, that Soylent is a kind of a. It's good that they don't know what that movie is because in Soylent Green, Soylent Green is the people, bro. That's yeah. a horror movie style. Mm. Um. So apparently, though, this shit's supposed to replace everything that you all ever the nutrients need, you every mean? single thing from vitamins and minerals to soy protein isolate or whatever sunflower that's even possible oil. i believe it is bro especially I, because the nutrition technology. companies like that are like i always question that shit but like i probably bet it's probably better than an insurer <laughs> you know what i mean like some weird way bullshit yeah no doubt no doubt i mean but dude hey it's got like the so the fucking creator of this shit yeah he swears by it and okay. he's he's been taking it he, apparently he claims he's been taking it that and only that for like the past like three years since he's made the product. You mean that dude wakes up every day and drinks powder bullshit? Yep. Like yep. some astronaut yep. asshole? I watched that shit on Vice. He claims it. I don't know. Yeah, if it's, it's real. Re- here's the thing though, man. We've talked about this before though. I mean, I feel like that's the way. So that technique in advertising works. And that is trial and tested. All uh, infomercials where they're like before and afters, right? They weren't FDA approved. Yeah, that's that's a problem. That's a big big hole. Yeah. Um, and it's here's what's why it's such a problem. It's not hard to get something past the it's FDA. It's him approved. Okay. <laughs> it's him approved. And if he's still standing in ten years, kudos to Powder Guy. But yeah, big soylent. I'm just saying, I do like to crack into an apple every once in a while, you okay. know, before they make those wax. But I also <laughs> feel like. Um, the the I feel like that's going to be incredibly that that's a wealth market. That's a financial market, right? Didn't a Beyond Beef and Impossible just explode in the stock market once uh, they went public? Yo, I don't know anything about finance. Yo, dude, I I'm, I'm about to invest some serious coinage into Twitter. Oh, you going into Twitter? Yeah, in man, 2022. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Yo, because they've they've kind of had a steady, like a steady kind of uh, incremental did. trajectory, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, right now, um, I'm currently my investment um, of Dogecoin. <laughs> okay, uh, is currently up uh, four dollars. Congrats. Yeah, but it actually came down like fourteen dollars <sighs> though. So yeah, a lot of people are talking like, about this stuff. It's amazing that we're living in a financial crisis and everybody's investing. <laughs> I, I know. think it's fantastic. I think it's probably going to keep the goddamn economy mm-hmm. alive. What do you I think I should invest in? So look, Twitter. Yeah, so that, uh, that's pretty much the same 
amount it was last time at seventy two dollars. So look, it's uh, it's pretty steady. <laughs> you you keep you keep looking at the charts though, and look yeah. at it. It's a steady incline all the way up. So uh-huh. all the way back to five years. You Whoa. know how you're literally putting everyone to sleep. Every single person I know. They they're <laughs> trying to get yo. I'm the fucking guy from Mad Money. All right. I'm telling you right now, you got to sell. <laughs> You're rolling out stats for stocks, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, but if you do have, what's a hot stock tip? Tell me. A hot. Okay. Without looking at that thing. Get Okay, guys. Get in early <laughs> and get out early. There you go. Okay. That's, if you're going to do the money talk, do the money talk, bro. Oh yeah! Get in early stuff. and get out of the way. How about I do the money walk? Hey, everybody. Um, no, I think it's fucking cool. I mean, uh, I guess pretty much primarily this is going to be the best form of gambling in the future. You know, yeah, I mean, that's what you're doing, right? You're gambling your it's money away. It's the best form of it in terms of how there are rewards versus like going and playing uh, a slot machine. No doubt. Or... Baccarat. Sometimes you don't know what's going on in Baccarat, and then all of a sudden it's over, and you lost hundreds of dollars. I mean, it happens to some people. Or solitaire. But um, thankful, thankfully, you're kind of getting in there early. You know what I mean? Get in there and yeah, get to know money early in your life. I got 526 shares of Dogecoin right I now. I love that. Yeah. Man. So when this Dogecoin, Doge, Coin. Doge, Doge, is that's a that's a is that a crypto? What is that? Yeah, it's a cryptocurrency, but mm-hmm. nobody knows what the fuck to do with it right now. It's a big joke. Ah, oh, it's an, perfect. And so, a big e- joke. Let's put our money in yeah. it. <laughs> so currently, it's worth it's valued at five cents a share, like oh. five, five, like it's like point zero five three one seven eight or some shit like oh, that. A lot talk of, to me, honey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. So, but well, Elon Musk, he recently, uh, like. Last oh week. no, you're right. I did hear about yeah, this. Yeah, then he yeah. then he came out and bro, that shit doubled from four cents when mm. I bought it mm. to eight cents. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a huge deal. My you doubled your fucking money right there. No, I didn't double it, but <laughs> it went from twenty four dollars to forty bucks. That's tremendous. Yeah, it was amazing. Any so, profit you can make without doing anything is pretty cool. No doubt. No doubt. Um but knowledge you, is power, dude. We know that now. But that's pretty established. Did, yeah. Um yeah. The stock market is a trip. Crypto's a real trip. But do you I, ever have any investments? I'm not market. at liberty to say. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Give me some. You got some? You want to pay me in Bitcoin, y'all? Uh, but um, for me, I mean, I, I think it's a fascinating thing, but I do think we're right in the middle of this huge, if, if I do get uh, sort of, uh, you know, like my, anal- my al- analytics tell me that, uh, no, bullshit. I just have a feeling we're in the middle of this like weird transition out of paper, right? Mm-hmm. It's stupid holding money in your hand and paying for things when you can you have this secure device. So it's like mm. it it naturally it's going to take so much time and it's really you know it's problematic. It's going to take all the people that are super used to it, a la elderly people. I think they're going to all have to disappear. Meaning like that's going to be a phase out of like humanity, and where then we're going to move into this really wild ass new cyberpunk seventy seven, bro. Yeah, the mentality. The state. mentality yeah. is going to be like get. With it or get the fuck up out or get the fuck out. But like my, like many things in vinyl and stuff, there's always room for you know maybe cash transactions in the future are like um, they're the novelty. Yeah. <laughs> they're like oh shit, this dude bought oh. quarters, yo. Yeah, when, he, when somebody <laughs> pops out the fucking two dollar yeah coin or whatever. You know? I think the kids around Sac- him Julia. are going to be like, S- let me look at the 20. It has a president on it back when everyone was racist. Yo, I just said that there was a $2 coin, bro. There's a $2 bill. You didn't correct me on oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. There is a yeah. $2 bill. Do you know who's on the $2 bill? Uh, Sacagawea. <laughs> no. Uh, I used to I used to get $2 bills from my, um, my ancestors. Okay. May they rest in fucking power. Shout out Bro- Brooks, Shout baby. Out Brooks. Yeah. Uh, our hands get burned by the sun. <laughs> Drew's got eczema, everybody. He's really it's battling like, with it's, it. It's, it's hilarious that the sun can hurt my hands riding a fucking unbelievable. He, he ran out of calamine lotion. Hi. Where's my calamine at? But um, what was I saying, man? Oh, yeah. The fucking child from the future looking at the... Let me see the paper. And here's what's dep- here. Here's my. It's not depressing. I, I I dig it. I dig the eagle and the weird White House shit and all that fucking. Then the 
third eye crap on the back with the masons and all that shit on the you know i'm talking about the dollar bill everybody goes nuts stoners yeah. forever since i was like 12 God we trust yeah have been like folding it up and being like see man 420 or whatever <laughs> i'm just like yeah i don't know listen <laughs> to pink floyd and fucking uh, you know what i mean like it's it's silly but i do think that shit is outdated as a mug too like why aren't we having like i don't know like other shit than this weird imagery and this weird symbolism that we just grown to accept. Even yeah. the way that we write the one and like in God we trust and shit. Flip the font. Use Comic Sans. Go buck wild with a goddamn dollar bill because it's going away. So you might as well go big on the end. You Damn. Know? Yeah, I say Comic Sans. Bro. Yeah, I think we should just put a bunch of penises on the president's <laughs> mouth. I think that'd be pretty. If you sick. were to okay, so I mean, you know what's a vibe too is that like it would be cool like in the future if we are giving crypto around that it's not like it doesn't look like just the normal yeah do you remember that one numbers you know it, hopefully they have like fake dollars that digitally float or something just to be fun yeah. i'm just thinking for you guys be, the people that have to deal with that and the development of all that anyway go ahead what do you, you remember that that one company that uh an old buddy of ours um had invested in some oh. cryptocurrency do you remember the name of that company by chance no, right? Never mind. No, sorry, guys. I'm sorry, dude. We'll keep um, you guessing. But I hope that guy's made money. It seems like everybody in the crypto world is making some dolo. And I, I like think that's Bitcoin great. Is. But some, somebody, somebody needs to essentially wonder if how far it's going to go. Hmm. Because it's such a weird... To me, without regulation from the government... You know what I'm saying? The government should be like, all right, we partnered up with this crypto. And once that happens, it's a wrap, bro. But the problem is... You know, I, I think it's going to it's going to take how would you uh, this is a great question for Alfredo. How long would you think it's going to take before we totally get rid of the moolah, jula, the clams, dude, the, fucking, the bread, the fucking scratch? Well, so then that I send that question right back to you and ask you, I mean, yeah, well, man, do you think <laughs> you can't do that? that I refuse <laughs> that you do that. I refuse and I rebuke you, sir. Is your question is cash still king? No, will, my, will, 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 my question was the same <laughs> motherfucker question I asked you. You dope? Would you? Wait, how long? How many years in Amer Like in human life cycle, uh, is it gonna take? Two. I think two years from now. I give up, man. I think two years from now we'll Idiot be all fucking good. answers from you. Are I think Joe Biden's gonna come into everybody's house and take away everybody's physical cash. And then he, we're oh, all he's gonna, gonna go do robberies. He, is what you're saying? Just he's him. gonna become some kind of bandit. Just him specifically, yeah. Him and um, do you know how they're gonna take care of circulating cash, dude? Do you know how they're gonna do it? By just getting rid of it. Yeah. Like ripping it up. Yeah. It's gonna disappear like that. And why? My question is: is when the digital apocalypse comes, bro. Oh. When they when somebody comes in like Trojan horse from Russia. Zero. And they crack all these phones open and they're like, good for the United States to die. Yeah. Right? And all the phones go out all at once and the Wi-Fi is boo, boo, all the lights, boo, Texas style, boo, power's out. They're worried. You can't even plug your... I will say that in that crisis, somebody's going to have a box of money, like a little shoe box underneath their bed with stacks of 20s that are essentially worthless at one point and suddenly do you think that they're going to be worth something again i don't think they're going to be worth something again because it's a it's you think a, it's going to be a precious precious metals market at that point because i do too i don't i don't think it's i don't think it's it's a piece of fucking paper i don't think it's worth shit i guess what i'm trying to tell you is it's stop imaginary. buying these stocks that he's telling you about <laughs> and no. buy yourself a brick of gold get in early get out early everybody do you think gold's gonna be worth anything in the future i think that's the kind of shit that is still gonna be worth something because it's kind of cool right yeah it's like a soft metal but i th honestly feel that we're gonna be on some mad max shit where Ooh. no doubt we're gonna be what, what do you mean like, like it's gonna be like stem cells like how many give me stem, 50 stem cells are all fucking no like bad. water's gonna be gold really you know what i mean water will be gold dude so that's the next world enough. order yeah and that's scary because i mean i think most deaf predicted that we just gonna die what was that predicted that? Yeah, the, the, wor the world water crisis. Whoa. Yeah. Is that um, an album? No, I'm, I think he he made oh. like a, almost a whole fucking song about it. Like, wow. if I remember Black on Both Sides correctly. Yeah. Um, which I thought was re really interesting to hear in a hip hop track. Somebody worried about like the the global crisis of nobody having enough water. That's some real heavy shit. And I didn't realize it literally till right now where I'm like, wow, that that's a young man that was like thinking globally and acting locally right there in brooklyn yeah man 
acting locally. That's hot shit. And acting globally. That's motherfucking hot shit. Yeah, man. Anyway, um, we're excited for this week. Uh, we saw Fist Fight last night. Yeah. Fucking. Can you tell me who those fighters were again? I know the gentleman's last names, but okay. so it was more fucking heavyweights. Mm, I Derek don't think it's Lewis. Fucking anything, but <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Derek, the Black Beast, Lewis, dude, the Black Beast, and he's got here. Okay, if I might say who the uh, verses, Curtis Razorblades, and Curtis Razorblades came out jacked. Yeah, his pectorals were out of hand. Right, fit as a fiddle kind of popping around doing his little because they do a little cocktail dance before anybody gets going right they move it around they shake it off really they're saying to themselves holy shit i'm about to die right you then we're talking about the ufc here today everybody who's just tuning in thank you so goddamn much for i don't know living a life where you're willing to risk something and put something dangerous in your fucking head or your ears you know or your eyes which is more valuable than so thank you for joining the podcast anyway i think the fight started out or at least the beginning, especially the promo where they're like, this guy, he's from this gym, he's been doing this stuff, and he's like, got a baby or whatever, you know, putting you in the mix. So you're like, oh, I care about this guy. Yeah. What it appeared to me is one guy looked out of shape. He just did. He looked like a little out of shape. That's how he's always looked, though. And that's the Black Beast, right? Yeah, dude. He's just, and this he... dude came out the gate being like, wait a minute, did you say Black Beast? That's my name. Yeah, dude. And That's then, my name. Then do you remember when, as soon as he knocked him out with a crazy uppercut, he just fucking threw himself on the ground and went like... <sighs> yeah, he does like a cobra yeah. kind of exposed. Yeah. But it's also very strange because it does look kind of yoga style. Like, what is it? I think it's cobra pose, actually. <laughs> look at the fucking boy being spiritual, brother. Yeah. Well, there's a reason. And goddamn yoga is fucking good for you. Okay? Yeah. Gets all the fucking percolating, percolating, dude. It's really nice. Um, miss it. What miss about, the communal. What about if instead of a, uh, if instead of the cobra pose, he just like went like, like doggy style, you know, and just went <laughs> and just was like, just freak looked, me, freak me. <laughs> just kind of no, just like looked at you with that same one, but just kept the doggy style. You no, know, I hand. couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. I'd be like, turn this off, or I just shut my. You know, like a child when they don't want to see anything, shut your eyes. Oh, just okay. shut it out. Traumatic. That is, well, it's eye violence. Um, at least here's the thing. What's so crazy about it is that. So what I'm getting to is this gentleman, one looked out of shape, one looked fit as a fiddle. And this goes to show you don't know anything. David Goliath, you don't know shit. You okay, this know. is biblical. Young man um, throws a good throw. They get some connections. And then within the second round, was it? It was second round. Yeah. Straight, a straight knockout. Knockout, clean, cold. And then he's like, pow, 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 which I always feel is like overkill when they make sure they're down. They're like, you're down now. <laughs> he did not know where the fuck he was at. Bro, he was asking why. And then so that, and then I watched that um, Miguel. Oh, the actual boxing match? Yeah, that we I watched it. That we didn't watch? It was watch? phenomenal. No way. It was so good. I might have to do the YouTubers and show it to you just because it was. Okay. It was a gas out like that. Damn. Yeah, dude. They blew the doors off this poor kid's Damn. face. He came out on a stretcher, bro. Yo, this kid, Miguel. I forget. It's Miguel. Can you look up that the names? But he came out. Yo, people at home. People at home. He came out on a stretcher, wondering what day it was, wondering what year it was. I mean, he caught him perfectly on the chin, man, and just clobbered him. He just went down. But he didn't freeze out like old boy, right? The frozen corpse, man. Fucking jeez Louise. Um, yeah, so it was Oscar Valdez against uh, Miguel Birchlet. Birch Oscar Valdez, what an incredible! Here's what I here's my only criticism to Oscar Valdez, and I shouldn't have any criticisms. He's a monster. He's a fucking fighter. But when he he just could not stop screaming, <laughs> which I guess it's probably a, it's a big surprise and a big win for the guy. So you know what? Live your life. I just feel like you know it's kind of cool to dance in the ring and be like Rocky and humble and shit. That's just old school me talking. But he literally spent the whole fucking rest of the fight where after he was down. And the dude's down for a... Dude, he was down long enough that his screaming became irritating. Do you Ooh. understand what I'm saying? So, like, the dude's down. And he's like, what is, who, why are you... Mom! Like, he's whacked out of his fucking gourd. And meanwhile, homeboy is like this. Uh, running around the ring. Ah! Ah! Like, and it's like... Even the dude on the ground is like, because he's still like, why am I on the ground? What's going on? Yeah. And then he's like, why is that guy yelling? Like, he doesn't know anything about the fight from that point on. So it was really kind of painful to watch those little uh, details. Yeah, uh, Just 
The bludgeonings. The bludgeonings. You know what's crazy? I feel like boxing brain rattling. Yeah, no, exactly. You know, totally. The the brain rattling. Like I know MMA's (laughs) Which is awesome horror movie name. Go ahead. Yeah, like I like I know MMA is crazy too, and obviously there's a lot of it's mixed martial arts, right? So it's like boxing is is just one, you know. You used to be able to fight a shark back in the day when it first started, right? They would just put a bear in the shark back in the day. No, I'm saying literally the in the sport they they had like a guy from Texas that was overweight that just drinks beer that wants to kill a guy. And versus oh. a guy who's been doing push-ups his whole life. Like, oh. they had that kind of interaction where it was like... it. W- the reason it was the UFC was like ultimate fighter. Any fighter. Sumo, anything. And it became like... That's true. You remember that? Yeah. I don't know. I had to look back at the no, shits. Right. To, yeah. It was crazy, dude. And they literally threw anybody into it if they were down. And I feel like they need to bring that spirit back in a way. <laughs> I think there needs to be... A sort of very well organized, make it a pod, make it a fucking quarantine dream. Um, but like an isolated, like Dubai island where they literally are like, here's a cobra. And you're like, fuck, shit. Ah, shit, fuck. You hey. know what I mean? That would be, that would be some heavy content. You know what, you know what should be <laughs> pretty sick if they decide to do? It's tag, tag teams. Dude, that's such a great. UFC like cage sit- situation. Exactly. You gotta tag him out. Like, no, he's gonna start fucking the other dude up. And then or you'd whatever. get older dudes. You could get older dudes to fight again because they'd be like, oh, I'm only fighting half the time. And could you imagine like what it would be? You could get Chuck Liddell for about four and a half, five dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he would join the mix. That guy'd be like, what? Yeah, no problem. Yo, fucking Tito Ortiz is uh, the, the fucking mayor of Huntington Beach. Oh my God, he Isn't is. Crazy? He was the honor- honorary one all- anyway. It's like, dude, that. Being down there, being kind of down there, not yeah, more or close, less, more yeah, or less. Yeah. But there is such my, people for people that just don't know. There is such a different vibe down there. If you are are culturally paying attention at any point, there is such a a surge in flat build uh, surf hats and baby strollers and giant pickups. Like it's so different down in that beachy kind it of is. area. But dude, if you're gonna look about around for like the number one vibe in like that area <laughs> that's Tito Ortiz bro yeah no doubt he is he should have been the honorary mayor and I'm thankful he is in office is this correct he is in office that's correct. fantastic yeah I wish I would have voted for him because <laughs> I think it's so appropriate for him to be there oh my god that was that was off. he's on one he's on one I don't, I'm not I don't follow um his beliefs as yeah. a, as, a, as people have expressed, he's right. got some really stupid shit. He's stupid, right? Well, he he's a big he's a big trumper dumper. So <sighs> that's too bad, Tito. But like, I like your name, and I like the fact that you're a mayor of like a place where there's a lot of bros. He's not the actual. You know, it's funny. He's the mayor of the bros. <laughs> he's the mayor of the bros. It's funny you say that because in in all the the UFC sort of compilations that. that I've seen, they're always clowning on how he's just not the brightest bulb in the fucking gang but, but what what would be more offensive to a bro than an intellectual person that's more smart than they are of course so it's kind of perfect that he's kind of like kind of not i wouldn't say not smart i'd say like perfectly on the level so that other bros can be like all right all right it's okay i don't want to beat his ass do you remember but it, if he knows calculus i'll whoop him you know do you remember terry cruz in idiocracy <laughs> yes that's yes. why i kind of feel like Tito ortiz is that is the accurate the real world because we're living in that movie yeah we are living in that movie i don't want to watch it no because doubt. i'm like i don't want to see what we're living in yo what i really think though i but think but shout out that judge man Whew, yeah what a great flick yeah it was pretty cool yeah pretty cool Luke movie Wilson, i think that movie around. went straight to fucking dvd didn't it i, I heard it, it wasn't a critical or a success uh, i don't know office? what the definition of success is with movies anymore well so. there's the critics and then there's the box office no, right I'm just i'm joking Come on, it's a rhetorical are you, question. Are you in the business <laughs> <laughs> i mean am i hollywood <laughs> Let us know. Let us know. Um, <laughs> the breakdown continues. Tell Let us, us know. The, tell us in the comment box. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> dude, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I remember that movie. I remember thinking, yeah, man, it feels pretty stupid out here. And then you're like, oh, dude, that's cute. Try living in 2020 or one. 2021, right? Yeah, February? Probably, I think so. So February 22nd, <laughs> uh, 2021. It is... I feel like it's the, it's so reality is the sequel to that movie. Yeah. Meaning it's not even it doesn't even hold up narrative wise. Like it probably is just the group getting back together like the hangover to get a, like cash a little bit of cash in a little bit. You feel me? That's what it feels like. We're not even living in 
idiocracy. We're living in idiocracy part whatever, you know? Yeah, the buildup to it. No, the prequel. The prequel, yeah, yeah, exactly, where it just starts to get real dumb at first. And everybody's Billy, like, Billy. here, this guy. No, no, but you know what I honestly think, though? I honestly think, you know who the next president is going to be, or eventually? Who? I think the motherfucking Rock, dude. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean his trajectory screams the leader of the free world. I'm not sure when, but... And when I've always thought, good. Well, yeah, no doubt. And he's going to about... Because isn't the guy in Idiocracy actually the president of the world? It's not just the president of the United States, right? No, no, no. He's the president, of, yeah, I believe, of the world, That's of so everything. Genius. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I figure cast your ballots now. Get in good with him now. Like, you know, you know how Frank Sinatra got in with Kennedy? Yeah. I'd just be, like, posting up. Like, Kevin Hart, post up. Because you could run... As vice president, if you play your cards even right, and keep off Twitter. <laughs> hey, and stop cheating, on, a, stop cheating on your wife, Kevin. All stop right. cheating on your wife, but at the same time, keep it more low-key, probably, uh-huh. right? Because, you know, Freaks is out. Um, and it's, you know, the temptations are real, especially for these touring characters. But I do think, let's keep it on the low, be a gentleman. Let's try to be gentlemen. Please, dear God. Um, and then uh, that goes for everyone, including myself. Yeah. Okay. Including myself. God damn it! Just like I think it's just you know, treat people like you want to be treated, man. Yeah. Right? Don't you feel like that's such a great one? Exactly. I and don't it, think you need to be a genius to understand that. I think Tito Ortiz understands that. I hope he does. I, I question. We all question that. I think because <laughs> his his answers are questionable. What do you think T- Tito Ortiz dri- uh, uh, Tito Ortiz drives? Jesus, why is that hard? Uh, a yellow H two Hummer. That's a good guess. No, I'm no, gonna no. say no. I'm, no, not even yellow. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a blacked out mm-hmm. Hummer. There you go. But, but like that matte color. But and with like the America flag sort of stamped on there. With but the, like in it, but in a matte sort of way because yeah. he went to oh. West Coast Customs. Okay, of okay. course he did. Okay, and he got a GMC or some <laughs> American-made gigantic truck. Okay, and then he's like, I want it up in the air, 15 feet, so a lady's got to worry about her dress. And then, because that's just the life of a lady, I guess. But then I'm going to have them side wings come out like, and then it's just going to be like a nice little clip, Ooh, clip, clip, short ladder cool. down. And I want the ambient lighting, of course. I want to go in there. <laughs> and I want it, yeah, and I just want it meaty. And I bet it came out meaty. looking like a death fucking machine. Okay, that's what he's driving. Some GMC bullshit. Huge. Yeah, twisted metal on my fucking twisted PSP, metal. dude. <laughs> he's driving that ice cream van. Yeah, and oh, twisted dude. metal, bro. And he's, he's, he's also coincidentally got what the clown game. outfit. Yeah, what's the new twisted metal, by the way? Do you know? No idea. I played that shit like <laughs> well, 2006. Let's, let's get into another conversation we have nothing, we know nothing about. But yeah. you haven't played that game since, I think I've played that game since 2006. Well, I only ever played it on the PSP, so... Shout out to the PSP, man. I think that was probably one that should have never gone away. Underrated handheld Crazy system. Crazy underrated. You could, dude, I had. We're getting into some nerd shit here. <laughs> Zoinks. I had. Uh, Straight bludgeoning fights to right to fucking nerd gaming. Yeah. We, oh, I love it. We lost the three girl viewers we had. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for Please trying come to back. hear us. We'll talk about stuff. Um, Don't speak. You know, oh, just dude, what I'm That's thinking. where it just kicks in and we just like slowly pan into us being like, don't leave. Anyway, um, Twisted Metal, man. PSP was, dude, I didn't have one. I'm just going to be honest. I wasn't a PSP owner. I was okay. friends with a lot of cats that were Loser. That. Yeah, total dork. Big L. Um, but I did fuck with it a bunch and really considered it at the time. I was just trying to grow up, man. Yeah. It just caught me right at a time where I was just trying to grow up. Mm-hmm. Put all the childish games aside. Look at me now. All I have is games. I'm living in a game apocalypse. That's what, that's what happens when you try to repress your inner gamer. And now look <laughs> at you true. now. Spending hours and hours, spend, wasting... Skinning oxes and fucking selling their pelts. Wasting tens of cents in betting and fucking games that you're not even supposed to... Hand card so games, true. you know. Uh, guys, thanks for joining us. This has been episode 15 of True Stories. And I... I can't say enough of it. That was an abrupt transition. I think we just scared everybody. Yeah. And I'm really sorry about that. Maybe we'll work on it. I don't know. I I felt like um, I just want to say, hey, we hope you're doing well. And thanks so much for joining us again. If you've made it this far, what do they get? Tell them what they want. Um, You get to see us next week one more time. (laughs) Oh, man. You made it real, real enticing. 